Welcome in to Boneyard Garage. I was going down the road, coming home the other day, and I seen this toolbox sitting on the side of the road for free. And it's only a couple, uh, couple houses away from me. So I stopped and picked it up. Uh, it needs some paint. You see the paint peeled off that drawer, and it's peeling off a couple others. So I think this winter I might just repaint it. I want to repaint that black one in, anyway. So I'll, uh, when I slow up a little bit, I'll repaint it. So I brought it home, I stuck it in the corner, and uh, I have a lot of new old stock that I got from my dad's house. Uh, from Briggs and Strat into Tecumseh, some cola stuff, from uh, a lot of carburetor parts, uh, gas caps, points, condensers, head gaskets, air filters, uh, you name it, he had it. And as you can see, in the garbage I took most of the stuff out of the boxes because like one of these boxes held one of these boxes here held one governor spring so I took all the governor springs out of the box and I put it in the drawers over here so I'm gonna give you a little tour of it uh, so up in these boxes you can see the light is right there. You know, I got some uh, gas tank, carburetor gas tank pickups, some gaskets. Uh, these are different uh, for chainsaw clutches, and these are all the governor springs. And this one is. Different flywheel keyways, a couple of uh, PTO switches, some pins for uh, rototillers, some more springs, just some keys I took out of old tractors, and these are the Briggs and Stratton shutoffs that go on a spark plug that hooks in. Mostly you see it on the five horses and three horses. They hook into the tins on top of the head. This box We've got some more of the shutoffs for the spot plugs. These are a little different. Some carburetor gaskets for older chainsaws. Uh, Briggs and Stratton valve covers and breathers. Some more miscellaneous gaskets. And in this one. Got some different fittings, gas line fittings, Briggs and Stratton float, Kawasaki float, miscellaneous bolts, nuts, uh, Briggs and Stratton air filter screws, and just a couple oil seals for Kawasaki's. There's really no rhyme or reason the way they're in there. Uh, if I get 10 minutes I can organize it a little bit better but for now at least they're all in one spot I had them in milk crates tucked away in my other storage and when I went to go look for something I could never find it or I didn't want to pull everything out to get to it so this worked out perfect some more carburetor gaskets valve cover gaskets for the older engines for the flatheads some more carburetor gaskets, Briggs and Stratton, mostly Briggs and Stratton in here. And these go on top of the carburetor for the uh, air filters. More gaskets, float bowl gaskets, some more carburetor gaskets. And it's just a little miscellaneous. You got the dogs for the old Tecumseh and Kawasaki uh, pull ropes and just some nuts and bolts. The throttle linkage clips. And sorry if I'm a little close because it's pretty tight in here because I got everything inside because it's raining. So I'm going to try to do the best I can. Top drawer is uh, some old carburetor stuff, just some old chainsaw, weed eater carburetors, Red Max uh, 
backpack bowl carburetors and just some miscellaneous carburetors and here some more diaphragms these are mostly for the old chainsaws uh, another carburetor here we got a floating gas gauge and some oil dipstick tubes and in this box was at my dad's he put a lot of old carburetor parts in here. He has some old floats. Some of these are out of uh, a couple old ones, constant engines. Some bridge and strand settlement bowls. And some old gas caps. Some cool stuff, some throttle linkage, needle valves, you know. So just some stuff like that and that. There's an old float out of a um, Let's see, you know, good is all dented up, but it's out of a Gravely Model L carburetor. And so is this. Pretty much what's in that drawer. Down here, you needed the Cumps of Gas Cap. I got two cases. Hit me up, let me know, I'll send you a couple if you need them. And we got some screw on, pressing gas caps, some Briggs and Stratton screw ons, a couple of half turn ones, the old school metal Briggs and Stratton gas caps. Uh, in here are all my points and condensers, the Cumpses, Briggs and Stratton, uh, Cola. I got McCulloch and Home Light right down here. Point and condensers. And here, mostly my Briggs and Stratton. Points and condensers. Still got more there. There's still more. This is just a drop in the bucket. Recoil springs. Uh, I don't remember what's in the boxes. Oh, this is a. Uh, Pull cord handle for the Briggs and Strattons. Put this in here for now. Fix it later. That's pretty much in that drawer. What's in that drawer? This one's just not too much. I got some 35 chain, some 45 chain. Uh, Master lengths, half lengths. I also got some master lengths from number 50 chain for the lock mowers. Uh, somewhere in there. Here's one here. Big old link. So that's pretty much what's in that. Here. And underneath, let me get a light so we can see, is I just got a lot of stuff packed in here. Air filters. From Briggs of Stratton, Kawasaki's. Uh, there's cola filters in there. There's a round cola filter right there. And in that box, in a way back, see if I move some of this stuff. Get that out. Head gaskets for Briggs of Stratton's. The Cumpsers. I don't think I got any cola ones in there. And there's a whole nother pile of them in there. So if anybody got flatheads that need gaskets from say two and a half horse up to uh, uh, 10, 12 horse, I probably got them. I also got a, uh, which are way on the bottom, I'm not gonna get them out, are uh, engine case gaskets. And the gaskets for the Briggs and Stratton's that, uh, we're on the locks, the sump gaskets. Uh, yeah, and a lot of different filters and stuff. So, yeah, at least I got it all in one spot now, for the most part. Like I said, there's more, more there. So I'll probably go down and get some more. 
He's every time I go down there, he asks me if there's anything left in the shop because I'm down there all the time getting stuff. But he's retired. He don't get around much anymore. He will be. Uh, he is 84. So now I freed up this shelf here with some stuff. So I got to figure out what I'm going to put over there. I don't know. Yeah, that's my new old stock. And uh, if you guys need anything that I got, you know, stuff that I can send in the mail, hit me up, let me know. I got a couple backpack blows that came in today. I got to get working on these snow blows. I wait for the guy to pick them up. Got three of them in here. Got the shop pretty organized for the most part. I made these hangers for my drills and impacts, grinders. And over here also. Get them up out of the way. So. Okay guys, that's it. Just another short video. I've been putting out a couple short ones. Uh, I'm going to be getting on some projects very shortly. There'll be some longer videos. Also put a couple pieces of PV pipe up here to hold uh, my throttle cables, my pry bars. And, you know, if I need to hang up a couple weed eaters to get them out of the way. Very tight, so I try to use every little sp space I can. Okay, guys. If you like what you see, please hit thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back to you. And uh, have a good night. Bowing your odds out.